Hello, my name is Patrick Hazel and I'd like to tell you about some of the new features in MaxF 2024. So we've added an automation interface called XML Grid, which allows you to extract data from any table in any MaxF application. It's more reliable than using copy to clipboard. The same API is used for all the tables and we have a new sample in Python to show you how it's used. A feature that's been requested from a user is to show the sign of the distance from a marker to its surface. The value is positive if the vector from the surface to the marker is in the same direction as the local surface normal. So this enables you to identify which markers are inside and which markers are outside the surface. It's also possible to show the error and the vector in the drawing view. Another request was to be able to edit the scale of the uh, plate strain in the plate expansion. So now you can double click on the scale and change the maximum and minimum values. It makes it easier to identify areas of non-zero strain on near zero Gaussian curvature plates. In stability, we've added key points and sounding pipes to the rendered image. And in addition, when you render the hull transparent, the rooms, i.e. the tanks and compartments, are also made transparent to make it easier to see these sounding pipes. And just as a reminder, you can hide all the hull surfaces or all the internal surfaces by turning off their edges. We've improved the DXF export of graphs so that now the graph origin is at the zero point of the DXF file. If multiple axes are used, this isn't always possible. We've always had the feature of being able to print to a specific scale, but we've made this a little bit easier to access. So now if you go to the graph options by right clicking in the graph window, you can choose to print either filling the page or print to a scale. If you choose print to scale, then the grid lines will be at measurable intervals of one, two, two and a half or five centimeters or inches, depending on whether you have metric or imperial length units selected. And these features are also now enabled through the automation interface. You can print DXF or print to PDF for the graphs. The batch analysis has been enhanced in two ways. The first is that we've split the large angle stability and equilibrium analyses so that they can be selected independently. And the second feature is that we've added an option to enable you to select which damage cases and which load case combinations are analysed. Thank you and I hope that you find these new features useful.